Here's how to create your own formulas and metrics on Google Looker Studio, and you will see that it is as simple as doing it on Google Sheets. And I will start with some examples for marketers. Maybe you want to calculate your own conversion rates, cost per acquisition, or engagement rates. Even though connectors already bring by default these important metrics, maybe you want to change them. Maybe for you, they have a different definition, and I will show you an example of that. If I ask you, how do you calculate your conversion rate for your business? What will you say? Conversions divided by users or conversions divided by sessions. Here's my take on this. Users are people, are unique individuals. Conversions are events and sessions are events. So if I compare apples to apples, I will do conversions divided by sessions. But there is an exception for this. If I were doing analysis for B2B businesses, maybe I would calculate the conversion rate by users. But if I did an analysis for e-commerce, maybe I would use sessions. Why? Because in B2B, for instance, in Porter Metrics, we are a provider for Google Looker Studio connectors. You can automate your marketing reports. Yes, this is advertising. Uh, people can only become customers once. They don't have different products. They only have one subscription they can use. So they can only convert once to customers, even though if they leave or whatever, they can only convert once. So people, in this case, I will do it with users because a user has only the potential to convert once on my website. In e-commerce, it is different. If you go to Amazon today, you can buy a book. If you go tomorrow, you can buy another book and you can buy clothes or an iPhone. In e-commerce, every session has the potential to drive a conversion. In B2B, it is not the case. You only convert once. That's why I will say that for B2B, I will calculate the conversion rate with users. And for B2C or e-commerce, I will calculate the conversion rate with sessions. But here's how to do it. I will go to a Google Looker Studio report and I will click on add a chart. And on add a chart, I will choose a scorecard. With a scorecard, I will have a, by default new users, but this is not the metric I want. Instead, I want to use users. Also, I want to bring sessions and goal completions. This is Google Analytics Universal Data, but you can do it with any connector. I will bring the three metrics, users, sessions, and number of conversions. Here I have these metrics and I will do a calculation. I will drop these sessions uh, down below. And now I will create a field. This is how you can create fields. Instead of choosing a metric in the list, you will go to the option that says create field. And on create field, I can name my new field conversion rate. And the formula will be the conversions, in this case is goal completions, divided by users. And I will click on apply. And the result of this formula will be something like 16%. But I will start, it is giving me 0.17, but it is not a percentage. I will need to change the type of this metric. So below in this table, in this window, you will see that the type is number. So instead of number, I will click on percentage and I will click on apply. Now this is showing me that the conversion rate with users is 16%. Now we will, I will do it with sessions. So I will go again to this metric. I will just copy and paste it. And now the formula instead of users will be with sessions. And the result of this formula won't be something like 16%. I think it will be 10%. This is a different conversion rate because I am using sessions for this one. And this is how you can create your formulas on Google Looker Studio. But let's continue with this exercise. Another simple exercise for custom formulas on Google Looker Studio, which is comparing a goal versus a result. So in this case, I will create a report with Facebook ads and I will create a new chart with a scorecard. And this scorecard will have the amount spent or the ad spent for Facebook ads. And I will create another scorecard with my target ad spend. Let's say I have a budget to spend on my ads. And I will go to create a new field and new, this new field will be called target. And the target will be simply the ad spend, the total ad spend versus or divided by my total ad spend budget. So I am saying that my total ad spend budget is 3 million dollars we have that much money and i will click on apply and i will divide it with the total actual ad spend so here 
I can see that I have spent around $2 million, which is around the 78% of my actual uh, ad spend budget. But I don't want to see this number. I want to see it as a percentage. So in the type of number, in the type of metric, I will choose instead of number, percent, and that will be it. I will click on apply, and now I can visualize my ideal or expected or total ad spend budget. As for now, we have spent the 77% of our total ad spend. And here is another example of custom formulas on Google Looker Studio. Here is how to calculate the cost per acquisition on Google Looker Studio. And for this exercise, I will be using the Facebook Ads Connector and I will be creating a table that breaks down my data by date. And the metric will be amount spent or the ad spend and a custom conversion. Our connector brings custom conversions. And for this table, I will add a new row that is called the show summary row. So it will summarize the total of every field. So here I have the total ad spend and the total conversions. Now, what I will do is that I will go to add a metric. And instead of choosing a default metric, I will click on create a field. And here I will call this field CPA. And CPA, the cost per acquisition, will be the division of amount spent divided by the custom conversion, I will click on apply, and here you have the cost per acquisition of Facebook ads. But there is another way to calculate this because sometimes this metric doesn't work, and I will explain why. Here, I will create a new field, and for this field, I will go, I will go to create field instead of choosing a cost, uh, default metric, and I will be more creative, and I will call this field CPA2. I am that creative. And the formula will be slightly different. I will do it with the formula summatory. I don't know if, if I am pronouncing it well in English, by the way, but it is sum or whatever. Sum of amount spent divided by sum of custom conversion. And now it is giving me this time the same data, but sometimes it doesn't. I will explain why. Sometimes every day my CPA is $1, let's say. Sometimes what Google Looker Studio does is, okay, $1 this day, $1 this other day, and I have 30 rows. So the total CPA is $30, and it doesn't make sense. It is not aggregating the data correctly. So a way to fix this is using the formula or the aggregation summatory. And this is how you can calculate the cost per acquisition on Google Looker Studio. Here is how to calculate the ROAS or return ad spend on Google Looker Studio. And for this exercise, I will be using the Google Ads Connector by Google. I have a table here where I break down my data by campaign and the metrics that I am using are the ones that I will be using for calculating the return ad spend. One is all conversion value that represents the money I am making with my ads and also the cost that represents the ad spend. But I have a problem with these metrics because remember, the return I spent is the division of the total amount of money that you are making divided by your ad spend. And it represents how many dollars are you making for your business for every dollar that you spend on ads. That's the definition of return ad spend. Now here, I have all conversion value, but there is a problem. There is also a metric that is called total conversions value. So which one is the correct one? Total conversions value or all conversions value? Because as you can see, they are very different values. Okay, I will be I will be bringing both uh, formulas for the ROAS. So Google Ads doesn't bring the formula ROAS. It is not named like that. There is an actual division. So they have the formula. Total conversion value divided by cost and all conversions value divided by cost. Which one is the correct one? As you can see for the first campaign, the ROAS that one gives me is 119. So for every dollar I spend on ads, I make $119. That's, that's too much. I mean, no, no business is, is like this. Uh, and the other one is $2. This, this makes more sense. For every dollar I spend on ads, I am making $2. So I have a potential winner here. And many marketers like me can confuse these values and calculate the ROAS incorrectly. So I will create my own formula to make sure I am doing it correctly. Here, I will go to add a metric, and instead of using one of the formulas that Google Looker Studio or Google Ads has, I will create a new field. And this new field will be the summatory of my total conversions value divided by the total ad spend. I encourage you to calculate your own ROAS so you can uh, prevent these errors. And I will click on apply. And my new ROAS with the name I wanted 
is actually proving that it is the convert the total conversion value the one that I need to use for calculating my, my conversions. So here is how you calculate the return I spent on Google Looker Studio. I will show you another example of calculating your own formulas and metrics on Google Looker Studio. And for this, I will answer this question. How often do we publish content on social media? And this is important because if you want to measure your success on social media, you want to use this funnel. By the way, if you want to learn how to measure your social media success, we have a specific tutorial for this, but I will give you a snapshot for this exercise. For measuring your social media success, you want to be more visible, which means having more reach and impressions. You want more engagement, which means you have more likes, shares, and comments on your content, and you want more conversions from your social media efforts. But there is a fourth element that is not displayed in the funnel, which is productivity. The more you publish on social media, the more likely you are to get more results. If you don't believe me, go to LinkedIn and publish every day and you will see results. And if you go to TikTok, publish twice a day and you will see results. The more often you publish, it matters. Quantity matters as much as quality. But this is a personal opinion on this. Anyways, I will show you how to count if you are productive on social media. So I will go to my Google Looker Studio report. I will go to resource, manage add data sources, and I will add a data source and I will add my Instagram page, but you can do it with whatever, with Facebook, TikTok, or whatever you want. I will go with Instagram insights and I will add my Instagram account, this account, and I will click on add. This is something you already know. You already know how to connect your data. If not, you can go back to our lesson on connecting data to Google Looker Studio. For this exercise, I won't use the dimension account name. I will use a dimension that is called post date. And this post date shows me the date when I posted a specific post on social media. That's redundant. Sorry for that. And for metric, I don't have a metric that is called post count. Not always. Maybe our connectors have it because we created it, but not always you will have a metric that shows the post count or number of posts that you have done. So I will need to create it. If I make my dimension post caption and post caption is the copy of my post and I make it a metric by dropping it as a metric there, by default, Google Looker Studio will create a function that is called count distinct. And I will show you that. But first, I will transform this table into a time series because I want to see over time how many times I am publishing on social media. Now, I see different post captions every day. I have a post caption on October 7, a post caption on October 18, and so on. This is showing me different post captions because every copy is unique. So here I am seeing every time I am publishing on social media. And if I click on edit the metric on that pencil in the blue icon, you will see that the aggregation of dimension is that I can count the values of my dimensions. I can count or count distinct. So Google Looker Studio by default is counting the distinct captions or copies I have for my posts. What I'm, what I'm saying is I am counting my posts on social media. So over time, I am seeing how many posts I am doing. And now I will duplicate this chart. And instead of a time series, I will do it with a scorecard. And now I can see that during this period, I have posted five times on Instagram. And this is how you can calculate how often you are publishing content on social media with Google Looker Studio.